In this video, we're going to see how we can use the display set functionality in MicroStation to be able to pattern inside a very crowded area. The display set tool, not new in MicroStation V8i, has been around for about 12 years. This tool allows me to select elements on the screen and then make them part of what we call the display set and then turn off everything else that's not part of the display set. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use my element selection tool. I'm going to select some elements here just some random elements. Then I'm going to hold and press down the right button on my mouse. I'll see the context menu. There you'll see display set set and this will be visible only when you have elements selected. I choose this and then for this view I only see those elements that I had selected. I can then unselect them and do whatever I want with them. To bring back the other elements I would again hold and press the right button. Whenever you have a display set MicroStation offers you the option to clear the display set. So I'm going to choose that and all the elements are back again. Now with that as a demonstration, on the left hand side we see our desired state. You'll see the yellow hatching in this area here. We want to hatch inside that area. We'd like to use the hatch area tool and the flood method, but again it's a very crowded area, very difficult for us to use the flood method. This is where the display set comes in. Now we know what our desired state is. I'm going to close that view make it easy for us to see. Using my element selection tool, however you want to set it, I've got it set to individual and also new, I'm going to choose the elements that I want to see. I'm just selecting the elements that represent the boundary here and then I also want to choose in this case the elements that are going to be inside the flood area that I want to hatch around. Now that I have those elements selected, I move my cursor where there's no elements, I hold and press the right button, I see the display set set option. I choose that. All the other elements are turned off and all I have are the elements that I had selected. To unselect them I just in this case would click anywhere. Now that I have isolated out just the elements that I want to use I would go to my hatch area tool. I'll use the keyboard shortcuts R1. I've set the method to flood. My spacing is set to 5 and in this case I wanted to locate interior shape so I have checked that option. I'm going to click in this area. It highlights the boundary. I do a data to accept. I've now hatched inside that area very easily to bring all the other elements back again. Hold and press the right button. The context menu appears. I go down and I choose display set clear and we're done. Very simple way to do that. This also can be done for doing filled areas using the create region tool. But that's another video. Hope you enjoyed that.